going on YouTube it is Wednesday six o'clock in the afternoon and I get a call for an emergency call for rooftop number 30 it's not cooling so I'll let you take a gander take a guess which unit is RTU 30 you know that's 17 idea which one it is so. uh, we're gonna start walking around started off in that corner went all the way that way checked all those RTUs took a swing at the first ones over there came back through and now we're here these are not it either 23 8 here this one says RTU 30 and guess where the roof hatch is right there the roof hatch is right there started my search for RTU 30 that way came back this way started coming this way I stopped here went back that way checked all the way that way all the way that went back inside nothing Nothing, 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 and boom, right here. Right by the hatch. If I would have taken a left instead of a right, it would have been the first unit. All right, guys. So we did manage to put our field piece probes in. My return. And we are showing a 20-degree delta T. I'm going to go ahead and put the screenshot right here. And right now what I'm seeing is this compressor is running. I haven't hooked up any gauges and this compressor is running. So they both seem to be running fine. I don't see anything crazy jumping out at me. Uh, see we're calling for pool one and pool two right there. So this unit's running pretty good. Condenser fan motor's running. Got some nice warm air coming out. Condenser coal is not extremely dirty. That's the uh, building maintenance guy that does the cleaning, so we're not gonna mess with it. So right now, uh, seeing how we do have a 20 degree delta T, um, tells me this unit's running pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and call the uh, monitoring company and um, See if they can't tell us what's going on so why they generated this call so let me give them a call and i'll get right back to you guys all right gents uh i just got off the phone with the answering machine at the uh monitoring company since it is 6 45 on a wednesday they don't uh they don't take any calls after five o'clock so at this point what I have been instructed to do is, because I do have a 20 degree delta T and everything's running, my board is showing all communication as normal. We're gonna go ahead and place this call on what we call a follow-up and essentially uh, give them a call tomorrow. Possibly if they need us to come out here, we'll come out here, uh, check the sensors and all. But for right now, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, call it good and uh, possibly, like I said, be back tomorrow when the uh, monitoring company is uh, back in the office. So 
right now I got a call for an uh, open air case at a different location so I'll see if I can drag you guys along to that one make it a two call two call video since I'm uh, I'm on call tonight so we'll see if we can make that happen change of plans I was not sent to that open air case I got sent to this guy not for sale freezer broke sorry management so let's go ahead and take a temperature reading in here uh, we got a PT system so we got about 30 degrees in the freezer I'd really like to get up there to see what's going on that beacon controller is pretty good it'll tell you everything you want to know but these shelves I'm not sure exactly what you got to do to get these shelves I managed to move these out the way slightly If I'm not mistaken, it's a high temperature alarm. But look at that. So we probably have a frosted up coil. Let's see if we can get some video here with one hand. I can't see what you're looking at right now, so I'm not sure what, what's back there. So we're getting an A1 high room temperature. Um, let's see if we can throw this into a defrost because that's going to take a long time to defrost. Um, and then we'll go through the settings, make sure this is all set. I managed to put it into a defrost. All you got to do is hold down that button right there that says force defrost, and you'll put it into a defrost. Imagine that now you got your defrost relay right here, defrost heaters. And we're pulling four amps, 3.9 amps. Um, fan stopped during defrost, that's good. You can see the ice back there. So we're gonna have to dig deeper into this to why it got uh, I just took up. a lot of ice off, but there's still a lot of ice back here. A lot of ice. So we still got some work to do. It's one of those days, man. I just, it's over it's past 10 o'clock and we're still defrosting coils. And we still gotta see what's wrong with it. So here we go. I'm gonna see if these fans will do some of the defrosting for us. And uh, we'll give it a few minutes. Um, then we can start troubleshooting the real cause of a problem of what happened. <laughs> fans did the work for us. Some of it fell back there. So we're probably good to go. Let's take a look back here. Yeah! Ah. Alright, so I'm still going to leave the fans on for just a little more because um, there could still right, be. Guys, we're up here at our condensing unit. You can see this is one of those flex packs. Um. So this is our compressor and this is our side glass and I have it in a service mode right now. So I just uh, connected our compressor back on and uh, I think we're ready to start um, start refrigeration mode. We got a clear coil now so yeah, we're about to start this good stuff here. Uh, that uh, side glass looks clear. So, see, compressor's running. Let's see, something nice. Like Alright, guys. So, now that I'm here a lot closer with no ice all over this, I'm noticing that I only have one, one set of heaters right there. 
and it appears to go to the um it's like a drain pan heater i don't see any other heat strips going in through the coil makes me wonder if this if this coil is even a uh a uh, freezer coil let's go ahead and look up that model number and see what we find all right guys so i just looked it up and that is definitely the way these are designed um, for this particular store i won't say what store it is but they sell jose ole um i tell you what i'm i'm not I don't like that. They only got one defrost heater and it goes down there. That's, I that's I came up here. I was going to do my pressure check, but I think we're doing all right. We got a freezing line. Got a clear side glass. And uh, we're not showing any signs of uh, not working properly. So we're going to go ahead and uh, call this good. We're just going to go downstairs and monitor the um, temperature because the customer strictly suggested or strictly demanded that we physically watch it come down to temperature. So that's exactly what they want. That's exactly what they're going to get. Just got to put this cover back on and we'll get the hell out of here.